Let us understand how to connect to Postgres database running as part of Docker container using Docker CLI. If the container is not there, I will quickly create the container, start the container, then I will demonstrate how to connect to the container and perform tasks such as getting into the database that is running as part of the container. With respect to running commands or connecting to databases in the container directly using CLI on the host, we can use Docker container exec or Docker exec. You can attach to the container by running bash using docker exec hyphen it and container name and you will be in the container and you should be able to run any valid operating system command based upon the OS that is used while creating the container. In the case of Postgres, it is set up using Linux based operating system and hence some of the Linux commands will work. Some of the commands might not work because it will only have the base kernel. Also, you can run single commands without attaching uh, to the container. Example is this one, docker exec hyphen it, container name, and then the single command, which is nothing but hostname hyphen f, to get fully qualified name of the host that is created as part of the container. For these commands, you have to use terminal. Let's uh, go to the terminal here. So in this case, uh, the docker is set up on Ubuntu based host, you can see here. Now I can say docker ps a at this time there is no postgres related uh, container. I can say docker container create which we have used earlier to create the container. This will take care of creating the container for us. I can start the container by saying docker start itv underscore pg or I can also say docker container start itv underscore pg. Now the container is started. You can validate by saying docker logs or docker container logs itv underscore pg. Now to Attach to the container and run OS commands. All you need to do is you can say docker exec hyphen it, the container name which is nothing but itv underscore pg because uh, when we actually create the container, we have specified the name saying hyphen hyphen name itv underscore pg. You can also validate by running ps command. You can see the name of the container here. Using this name or id, you should be able to use docker exec or docker container exec hyphen it name is nothing but itv underscore pg and you can say bash you can hit enter now you are inside the container you have logged in as root and the host name is nothing but itv underscore pg now you can say host name hyphen f like this and you can see the name of the host here however if you don't want to attach to the container but still run some commands especially as part of your scripting what you can do is you can just say docker exec hyphen it container name and then pass the command like this it will take care of running the command on the container you will be seeing the output here and the context will come out of the container now you are in the host itself if you say hostname hyphen f here it will give the hostname of our vm which we have provisioned from gcp so this is how you can attach to the container however to Connect to the database instead of hostname hyphen f, you just have to say psql hyphen capital U postgres like this, and you should be able to connect to the postgres database that is running in the container. Let's uh, use this command which is highlighted here. Let's see if it works for us or not. I am just copy pasting this command, and you can see that you are directly connected to the postgres database. If you say backward slash q, you will come out of it and the context came back to the host. You can actually run hostname hyphen f which will give us the name of the host which is provisioned from the GCP. You can also attach to the container using bash like this and then you can actually run psql hyphen capital U postgres to connect to the database that is running as part of the container. As we have first connected to the container and then connected to the database, now if I say slash q like this, it will come out of the database into the container. You can come out of this by saying exit. So this, this is how you should be able to connect to the database in two ways. One, directly using this approach. Two, using this approach of uh, attaching to the container and then running this command to connect to the database on the container using command line utility called as psql. Make sure you are very comfortable with the docker exec. It is quite useful. And also, if you are trying to practice uh, against Postgres database, try to get a bit of comfort level with respect to psql. The main agenda for this session is for you to understand the relevance of Docker exec, especially from the point of view of connecting to the container as well as some service running as part of the container.